So today we'll take a look at the step access module in the grid and a few ways of using it. As always, I added also the ideas from this video to the PDF of tips and tricks I keep on updating. It's available on my Patreon together with the project files from this video and from many other videos. And let's quickly go over the idea of phase. I already have a full video about it, but I just want to go over this quickly. Let's say that we have two sequences like I have here. For now, they are both set to eight steps, playing the exact same sequence. Right, but we want to make this a bit more interesting, so we can set one sequence to have fewer steps. So for example, the second sequence we will set to have just seven steps instead of eight. And when working with the phase signal, this sequencer will play these seven steps in the same duration. The other sequencer plays eight steps and we get a polyrhythm. So they always start together on step one. Right, you can see they land on step one at the same time. But again, we want them to run at the same rate. So one thing we can do is use the phase counter. Right, we have the counter module. We use the triggers to trigger it and reset everything with the transport playing. And now if I set this to have only seven steps, it will count seven steps within this sequence. Both sequences run at the same rate, but one has eight steps and the other has seven. You can see, by the way, that the sequencer itself is still set to eight steps, but the counter makes sure that it will count only the first seven. Now the disadvantage here is that it's a relatively complex setup for something like this, but we also have the transport module right, this one here. In this case, we just deal with one module. And again, we can set it to have a length of seven. In this case, also the sequencer has to have seven steps. And now again, both sequences will run at the same rate, but one of them will have fewer steps. Right now, this means that if I want to change the length, I have to do this on the sequencer and also on the transport module. So this is also quite complicated, but now we have the step access module. We can leave the sequencer with eight steps and change the length only on the step access. Right, so now again, both will run at the same rate but we have fewer steps for the second sequence. Right, there's no need to build anything too complicated. This just works and gives you more control over how the sequencer plays. So of course, the first thing we can do is control the length of the sequence. Here I have gates and pitch in the node grid sequencing the polymer. Right, and now I can uh, add variation simply by controlling the length. For now it's set to 16 steps, but I can go down to 10, 7, right, and so on and so forth. And of course, uh, we can do this also externally. So for example, I can add another steps module, right, drive it with another step access. Of course, we need to disconnect the pre-code, for now I will leave it with eight steps. Right, maybe instead of um, eighth notes, we can set this to a bar. Right now I can take the steps of the original sequence here of the step access down to one. Let me stop this for a second, right, down to one. And now I can control the length with the second step sequencer, adding 15 to it. Right, so again, maximum of 16, I just map this. I map this a bit and then I go out of it. And then here I can change the exact, right, exact value. So I will go with 15, again, maximum of 16. 15 plus one gives us 16 steps. Now if I take the, all the steps all the way up, right, um, have a look here. When I hover above the one, you can see it says length one and 16. So we have now 16 steps. But now I can start adding variation. 
right? Taking the length a bit down, or maybe this one. Right, and again, if I hover this, have a look here. Right, 16, 11, again 16, 11, and 5. Right, so we have some variation, we have a bit more movement. Right, and of course we can do this also randomly, I have here a bass. Right, in this case I have a gate sequence here with 8 steps. Right, but again I will take it all the way down to 1. And here I have random, let me stop this again, I have random um, values generated by the dice module. So again, I will map it to the length just a bit, and then here I can set the value. Again, maximum of eight, we have already one, so I will set this to seven. Right, and now this will modulate or will control the length. Right, again, if I hover here and have a look there, we have six, seven, three, Six, right, so we add more variation to the length also randomly. Right, of course, if we don't want the minimum to be one, if I unmap this, we can have minimum of four, let's say, and then map this with a value of four. Right, so the minimum will be four steps and the maximum will be eight. Five steps, eight steps. I have here a few more voices. I have here a kick, hi hat, and a ride. We also have the option to offset the sequence. So, for example, here I have 16 steps. But now instead of 16 steps, I will set this to five. Right, so for now it will play only the first five steps. But again, we can offset the starting point to choose anywhere from within those 16 steps. So for example, if I want to start on step three, or step four actually, because it starts from zero. Right, so like this, we have 16 values to choose from and five steps as the length. And again, also this we can do externally. So I have here another step access and another steps module. Right, and now I can just control or map the offset. I will go with about 10, so it will offset maximum of 10 steps. and we get more variation. Right, instead of just repetitive five or repetitive 16 steps, we have something that is uh, that has a bit more movement to it. And of course, also here we can do this randomly. So again, I have here a bass. Right, in this case, I have again 16 steps. Right, but within those 16 steps, it will play only 7 steps, and again, also here I can offset it. And also here I'm using the dice to generate random values, and I will just map this, let's say in this case, the maximum of, let's say, 5 steps. Right, in this case it will be random, so if, again, if I hover on, um, on the 0 here, have a look here down, now it's 2, offset by 2, offset by 3, offset by 5, offset by 2 again. Right, and again we get a bit more variation. I have here some drums. And a nice hi-hat.
Something interesting to know about the step access is that it will always play the full length of number of steps you set, even if the overall sequence is shorter. And let me show you what I mean. So here I have a sequence with eight steps. Right, so the length on step access is set to eight, and also the number of steps. Right, so again, we get an eight step sequence, but if I change the number of steps to 10 instead of eight, Right now it will play once the full sequence, so eight steps, but then it will repeat the two more steps that are missing to fill it to 10 steps all in all. Right, and if I set this to 16, let's say, right, it will just play twice the eight step sequence. And of course this will sound exactly like just having it set to eight. But if I go higher than this, it will play multiple cycles until it will jump to the first step again. So if I set this to 20, for example, right, it will play 8, and then another 8, and then another 4. Right, you can see it plays twice 8, and then it repeats the first 4 to complete this to 20 steps. Right, so like this again, you can add variation without having to build any complex setups. Another thing about the step access, we have here also note values. Right, so you can change the note values and you can also change this sort of with the length. Right, so here the sequence has eight steps. Here also it's set to eight. If I set this to four, it will play twice as fast. If I set this to 16, it will play twice as slow. Right, so again, like this also you can add variation. You can control or modulate the note values or uh, control this number here. So for example, I have here another sequence that I'm going to change the overall length, this eight, right? It will, with these two steps, will change it to four. So I'm going to modulate it down with a value of negative four. Right, so now it will also play twice as fast. Right, another way of adding variation. I have here also a chord with the same idea. I have here a total of eight, but it will play 14 steps. Right, so it will play eight and then it will repeat or reset after six more steps. Now, of course, the step access will generate a phase signal that you can then process with the different phase um, process modules, like the reverse here. So I have one sequence playing forward, one sequence playing in reverse. I have here also a bass, again with the same idea. In this case, I have it set to seven steps, but it will play 25. Right, so it will play seven, and then another seven, and then another seven, and then four more steps. Right, so I hope you could see um, that the step access is a great addition to the grid. I have here also a few more drums before I unmute them. Thank you again for watching. Cheers.